Butina Island, a worthy candidate for the new Seven Wonders of Nature. Seven reasons to be one of the new Seven Wonders of Nature. Healthy and mature mangroves. A year-round paradise and breeding ground for birds. One of the highest densities of breeding ospreys in the world. A marine world thriving in defiance of high salinity and high temperatures. A nesting site for the critically endangered hawksbill turtle and a foraging ground for green and hawksbill turtles. A feeding and breeding ground for the world's second largest population of dugongs. A living laboratory for the study of climate change. Butina, a horseshoe-shaped island, is located approximately 130 kilometers from the capital city of Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. It is part of Marawa Marine Biosphere Reserve, the first marine biosphere reserve under UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Program in the region. Its sandy and rocky beaches are spectacular and its mature mangroves serve as a nursery for various species of fish, crustaceans, mollusks, sea cucumber and sea urchins. In turn, seabirds breed and feed on this food supply, while migratory waders use Butina as a stopover during the annual migration from Asia to Africa or beyond. Coral reefs, seaweeds and seagrass meadows are present in the shallow sea around the island. A large population of globally endangered turtles, dugongs and numerous commercially important fish species also inhabit the surrounding waters. Mangroves, a long stretch of natural mangrove Avicinia marina occurs along the backwaters of the island. The sheltered side of the island regularly undergoes flooding, which has led to healthy mangroves growing to a height of almost five meters. These mangroves look like a forest on stilts with relatively still water. Mangroves are an important part of the food chain. When their leaves and twigs fall into the water, they decompose to create the first link along with the nutrients from silt trapped by their roots. These roots provide shelter to small fish from predators such as birds and other fish and protect them from being washed away. Butina's mangroves play this special purpose as well. During the year, different species of birds use the island as a resting place or breeding ground. In May, the bridled and white-cheeked terns start arriving and raise their chicks over the next two months. The tern colonies fledge their young in June and early July as the crowded beaches start buzzing with rapidly growing youngsters begging for fish. The adults and young produce a deafening cacophony, but by August all will have fallen silent once more. It's time for another dawn, and the cycle of life has begun. The sky has a hint of light, but the sun is yet to appear. On the horizon, you see a line that is continuously moving. Throaty sounds, and the whirl of wings, as thousands and thousands of Socotra cormorants have begun their morning flight to feed. Butina 
is an important roosting site for around 25,000 globally threatened Socotra cormorants and the surrounding waters provide enough fish for such large numbers. In the evening, these birds fill up the horizon, an incredible formation of thousands and thousands of cormorants stretch for miles and take over an hour to return to their roosting site on Butina, having feasted offshore. Winter has arrived and a very special guest has completed its migratory journey and safely reached Butina to breed. That bird is the spectacular osprey. Once a pair has settled at the nesting site, the male often arrives a few days ahead of the female. The male takes care of all the fishing, while the female remains close to the nest. Mating occurs frequently up to the start of incubation and begins from the first day after the female's arrival. Two or three eggs, marked with rich brown or chocolate colored flecks, are laid and incubated for five weeks. The osprey is supreme among the expert fishers. This large predator hunts and breeds successfully in the relatively undisturbed waters of Butina. It is perfectly equipped to find all its food in water. The Environment Agency, Abu Dhabi, has regularly recorded, during successive breeding seasons, five to six active osprey nests on the island. Some of these nests are on artificial platforms set up by the Environment Agency. These nests were found within a kilometer of each other, distinguishing Butina as an important nesting ground for the species. Despite the stressful and highly saline environment, Butina supports several endangered species and other marine resources. The relatively shallow and enclosed Arabian Gulf high summer temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius at its peak and wide temperature fluctuations between seasons haven't stopped these species from being attracted to the island. Butina's shallow depths around coral reefs are also home to sharks, angelfish, parrotfish, butterflyfish, groupers and wrasses. The waters surrounding Butina are also home to the Indo-Pacific humpback, bottlenose and common dolphins. The uncertain survival of hawksbill turtles, so delicately balanced around natural events, is further made worse by several threats generated by man. Annual monitoring have documented six to ten nests on the sandy beaches of the island, which are laid during March and June of each year. The nesting period lasts an average of 12 to 13 days, with most of the turtles coming to the beach at night to lay their eggs. The average clutch size is 74 eggs and the incubation period lasts for approximately 58 days. Hawksbill turtles are named after their slightly hooked beak. They measure about 80 centimeters in length and weigh a maximum of about 50 kilograms. Egg laying is a very strenuous time for the female. It lasts over an hour. Once the eggs are laid, the female covers up the nest and heads back to sea. Extensive seagrass meadows and negligible human activities in the area have created a natural sanctuary not only for foraging green and hawksbill turtles but also for another highly endangered mammal, the dugong. The surrounding waters of Butina support a large part of the dugong population of UAE which constitutes the second largest dugong population in the world. Recent capture and satellite telemetry has confirmed that Butina serves as a major feeding and foraging area for dugongs in the UAE. Dugongs are frequently sighted around the island of Butina during aerial and field surveys. Groups of 650 in summer and 835 in winter were documented during the last aerial surveys. A dugong will spend most of its time searching for and eating food similar to a vacuum cleaner operating on the sea grass beds. 
Its feeding action creates feeding plumes, and as it moves forward, it leaves clear channels on the sea floor, visible from above. Each dugong needs to eat at least 5% of its body weight in seagrasses each day to sustain its bulk. The shallow waters of Butina have a number of sheltered tidal sandbanks. These serve as ideal sites for dugong calving. Though the dugong population in the waters of Abu Dhabi is stable, worldwide dugong populations are widely scattered and declining throughout their range except in Australia. Butina is a haven for biodiversity in the UAE's harsh arid climate. Coral reefs around the island are sparse but extensive and continue to thrive despite the stress of extreme temperatures and salinity. Their survival has given researchers insight into coral reef survival elsewhere in the world in the face of global warming. Butina offers the world a living laboratory for the study of climate change.